So, to find the even and odd parts of any signal x t, we can consider x e t as each even part and x o t as its odd part. Then we can write the signal x t as a sum of each even and odd part x e t plus x o t as given in equation 1. Now we know that for a given signal, if it is even, then we, if we replace t by minus t, then f of t, if it is the signal is f of t, then f of minus t is also, it is, if it is even, then f of minus t is equal to f of t. So since x e t we are saying it is even, so x e minus t will be equal to x of e t. So it is, we are denoting as equation number 2. And again, for an odd signal, f of minus t, if we replace t by minus t, then it is minus of f of t. So, it is due to odd signal and minus sign comes before the signal. So, f of minus t becomes f minus of f of t. So, since x o t, in our case of equation 1, x o t was odd part, so x o of minus t becomes minus of x o t. So, it is denoted by equation number 3. So now, if we replace t by minus t in equation number 1, then we can write x of minus t as equal to x e minus t plus x o minus t. Again, since we have found that in equation number 2, x e minus t is equal to x e t, so we can write it as x e t, okay, x e t. So this is x of minus t, x e minus t becomes x e t. So this is, this will become plus here. Okay. So this plus becomes here plus, and x o t becomes minus of x o t. So this equation is four. So now, if we add equation one and four in equation one, it was given as x e t. So x e t plus x of minus t, x t plus x of minus t is equal to x t, x e t plus x o t, here x e t minus x o t. So x o t will be cancelled out and 2 x e t will get in the, get in the right hand side, 2 x e t. So x t plus x minus t is equal to 2 x e t. So we can write x e t is equal to x t plus x of minus t divided by 2. So this is the even component of the signal, even signal. So it is nothing but xt, the signal, and x minus t, that is its folded signal. So sum of these two signal and it is divided by 2. Magnitude is scaled by half. Okay. So if we subtract these two equation 1 and equation 4, then we can write xt minus x of minus t. So here, event components are cancelled out and 2x o t we get in the right hand side. So in the right hand side, 2x o t, we can write x o t as equal to x t minus x of minus t divided by 2. So this is the odd component of the signal as we assumed in the first equation. So we have derived the x e t and x o t in terms of x t and its folded version x of minus t in these two expressions. So these are the expressions for even and odd parts of the given signal.